we'll call the meeting to order at 5 o'clock. Wayne, what was this uh, $6,600 to? Well, one of those valves. Uh, Charge for them by the town? Yeah. There should be another one coming because I ordered two because right after as soon as we did it, something else let go, so. Of course. So we'll have all three. All of the inlets will be all new. And those are the ones that were rotting out. How do we end up with so many uh, phone services and everybody else ends up with... We got 50, $55 worth of phone services, town hall's got $5, police have $9, council on age has $6. It might be because of our buildings, but we're down to just two buildings, this one and Manly. I'll ask you. MCI, about that's... We got most of the bill. We that's like the first time though. Like every usually, like I get that once a month, and it's usually zero. I don't know if there's something that's up and running or. I don't know. No, I'll, who's, who's in charge of that one? Kathy Reed sent it to me. Well, but it probably still goes back to Ed Sarrow. I don't have can, no idea. Yeah, for for me, can you ask her yeah. why? Yeah. <laughs> That's like 80% 80, 80 of the bill. Unless she dumps the bill on uh, one department once a year or something. No, I don't, I don't think she does that. Well, everybody well, else is... Wouldn't have something <clears throat> over anything. Superintendent. No. The high school zero. The superintendent's office is 81 cents. We're 55 dollars. How do you have 81 cents? Yeah, that doesn't. The whole, like Rose, that whole bill is crazy. Rose McDonald School yeah. is zero. The cafeteria is zero. The Howard School is zero. Are they all tied in by fiber though? Because it's it's VoIP now, so it's voice over internet protocol. So yeah, they might have one hub. All those uh, buildings, except for the Rose McDonald School, I think is. Uh, oh, well, then. that Rose McDonald School might be tied in overhead. But I did all of them underground. Everything's right. underground. The police, the fire, the, all the schools. Yep, and now we have no idea where it goes when it comes out of the police fire. I know, because they wouldn't tell me. They wouldn't tell me either. <laughs> I put it, I had the whole map all drawn with all the measurements right. to all the pull boxes. And when they built a new high school, they, and they right. did the police station over, they cut it off. And because it went through the police station in one side and out the other. And the building committee told me they weren't going to tell me where it was. I said, well, I can't put it on the GIS map. Right. And, it, and nobody's going to know where it is. And they don't they find it someday digging a hole. <laughs> yeah. They got to come across it from time to time. And they were going to keep it a secret. Eric, is this just Rick's signature? On the yes, phone? one. Yep. Okay. Just Thank you. Go with the staff for time. So, did everybody have a chance to read the minutes? Yep. Yeah, I'll set one. I'm yeah. I am also going to make a motion to accept. Do I hear a second, Tom? Second. All in favor? Aye. Wayne, this pot potassium hydroxide, how does that come? In that comes in a, so we get it usually about 5,000 gallons, about $15,000. Because that's the most that the truck can carry by weight. We'll probably be dropping down to smaller loads because we're only running two stations. So we've got 5,000 gallons at a time? Yeah, because we distribute it amongst the stations. So it goes up to the iron removal plant? Yep. Yeah, it's used at all of them. That's how we raise the pH. Yeah, it says total quantity, 46.1. Yeah, feet. you're going to see smaller deliveries now because now we're only running station two and station three. So in order to keep them fed, you you'll see smaller quantities coming. That's the very chemical that um, the plant in Florida that got hacked. That's the chemical that they yeah. went after and adjusted up. 
because it'll burn people. And I think the last I heard on that, that was like a former employee that left and they didn't change the passwords on their system and he got in. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. I figured it'd show them, but... Yep, that's a pretty stupid thing, because, uh... You know, that's just what some dads mm -hmm. Well, he's probably doing time right about now, so... Uh, yeah, yeah, you won't be seeing the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's the chemical, that's why we have all spring-loaded, brought on a whole pile of regulations for our station, because... So that every, nothing can be left in hand and without somebody being there holding it. Yeah, you need a switch. Okay. Yep, everything has to be spring loaded now or timed out. They always did have to be. Yeah, but it felt worse after the that I forget the town up north that did it. The operators were testing something and they left it in hand and burned. It's supposed to have a dead man switch, so you have to. Yep. You have to hold the button there. And if you die, your thumb comes off. Right. right. Yeah, but <laughs> this was for the, um, the chemical feed pumps. So, did everybody get one of these, or am I passing this one? No, way? everybody got one of those. That's just that I finished, the DEP held me out on that, so I just kind of rushed through it today. But that's just the highlight. We're at 12%, so we're over yeah. two years in a row now. So okay. part, part of our permit is having a town-wide leak detection done, like on a three to five year basis. When you contacted them, Anyway, right? we already have some pricing. Yeah, and so it's, there's basically two really good guys. I'll find the other name, but the guy who keeps has responded each time. I send it out to like 10 or 12 of them, and this, this guy's responded each time. The other ones, re they don't do anything. Yeah. But this this guy comes highly recommended. And he was at 6037 but that's a year ago, so it might be a little more. But now's really the time of year before everybody gets going. And yeah, no, we need to get on. Okay. Got to show what we're doing. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I mean, I gave you copies of the CCR. We brush that out because we're going to try to save a mailing. We'll put in a flyer with the. Um, Next billing is going to go out on May 1. And what started out at one point was just a eight and a half by 11 piece of paper that was folded, you know, six times yeah. over. So well, they keep coming up with more and more regulations now to uh, change everything. Anything in here about uh, PFAS? Yeah, oh yeah, make sure I cut because we tested for it, I had to report it. So, yeah, page seven. Uh, so, on the PFAS, so our. So, February, so I kept it in February and March. March. All right, so I did the March test. 
but I accidentally, the lab thinks that I switched the bottles, so we were actually 20.2, so we were over, so I went back and forth with DEP on it, and they're not calling it a violation yet, so we'll probably get through that, but they'll watch this next one to see where we are. Why did they think you switched the bottles? Uh, because the, the other bottle, so there are two, you pull two samples, identicals, and then you pull, they send a field blank, and you just pour the fluid from one to the other. Yeah. So the, one of the two samples didn't have any readings in it, and the field blank had a reading. Okay. But it's weird that the two samples weren't identical in their numbers. One was 19 point something, it was under, and then the field blank was 20 point, I, I believe two, or it was 20.1, but it was over the 20. But they're okay, I don't have to report it, there's no mass mailings. But I believe that the meteor is probably holding on to the PFAS and we'll probably never get that number down. Did you read that about Pepper? Yeah, I saw that. What a shame. What a shame, he was a great guy too. Yeah, he was yeah. a... Now you understand why we couldn't find anything. I was wondering about something like that. Yeah. I didn't know he was a senior vice president. Yeah, he was um. I, you know, he was, I consider him, he was Karen Howard. I'm not really enjoying the new people. They're, they don't have years of experience like Patrick to draw on. Patrick was good. So we can look for someone else if we're not getting what we need to out of them. Right. A good amount of money goes to that company. Right. And I, I don't know, I just don't, I don't have the feeling. All right, well, we sign the warrants, uh, the abatements. There is no abatements, right? No. Okay, because I didn't see any. Uh, next thing on the agenda would be uh, Bill Lucini, <coughs> Ames Drive. Yeah, I told him to come at 5.15 so you could get through the first part of it. Okay. Uh, update. Uh, we're going to move on until he gets here then. Update on the replacement well. You so said they're dying right. on. They reached the 51 feet. <clears throat> they sent out the sieve analysis. Um, they got back the screen design. So I believe right now they're out fabricating the screen. Okay. Uh, once the screen comes in, they'll insert the screen into place and then we'll do a pump test to see what we're going to get for a flow rate out of it. And after that, they'll design the pumps and then they can start to do the electrical because then they'll know what to drive five or CFDs. What do they what do they think they're going to get? Do they have any idea yet? <laughs> no, they haven't said a word. No. no. They don't want to give a number early in. Right. Well, even with the BFDs, the, uh, if we start to draw down, we can dial them down. It's not the same. It's, um, did they hammer it down or did they? No, no, they didn't hammer it down. No? How, how'd they put this one in? I didn't get to see it because I wasn't here. They really, they finished in like two days. Hmm. They, but when I saw the analysis, it was mostly small gravel or sandy. There wasn't nothing really obstructing them. Did it feel like you got a real coarse material? No, it wasn't really coarse. It's, um, no. Fine. Yep. That's not good. Which is, so you always asked about why Station 1 was good quality water. And I remembered the guys that um, when, they, when they rehabbed the well, the wells were basically chock full of sand, is what they said. So we were vacuuming up through the sand. We were actually cleansing it. It's like a, we're like a filter. Right. That's why we see such a difference now. Well, that is sandy up there. It's, yeah, it's gravel when you go over to it on the lava. But yeah, but now we drew in what was uh, everything around it. The drought isn't helping us. We're in at this point. We're still in a drought. Yeah. Nobody really notices it because we're still in the springtime. And, you know, you get in the morning, the dew, everything's wet, but it's not. We haven't. We're going to go through this entire week with. No rain, pretty much. I think we got a sprinkle today, but that was it. There's not anything significant. Yeah, it's been dry. You know, there was actually something in the paper 
uh, was last Sunday about the state looking at already looking at doing some kind of a new restriction on allowable use and doing something like so it's everybody you know, right you know, not leaving it up to whether whether you're pumping yours or not yeah. just restrict everybody right and they might start to come down on people yeah um, update on the new water source. Anything on that one? I haven't heard anything from them, so I don't know whether to chase them because I'm still waiting on the asset management. I haven't heard nothing about them on that, so I don't know whether we want to push that or with the advent of the fact that we might be looking at a treatment plant. I don't know how much money we actually have, but. Well, it's still a good reason to push them on the asset management grant. Right. That part of the time. Yeah, the last thing I heard from them was uh, because we had reached the threshold that we could get some money back out of the state. How about a, a new hire? Um, I know some applicants, truly, I've been flat out trying to get the um, consumer confidence done and uh, Try to get the annual report because the annual report followed out on the DEP's end. Something went wrong in it, and it's due in a short time. And they just gave it back to me to finish out. So, the uh, you sent uh, over a uh, one application. I got one on my. I thought you thought that one was was interesting. Looked I, like he had some experience in uh, maintenance. I, I really I haven't seen That would have been the last one, because the other one had, like, the first one you sent had like seven of them on it. Whatever so it is, they're all right here. And then I, mean, I think I, email, I know I emailed all you guys, then. Yeah, yeah. but I printed out a copy in case anybody wants me to make another copy for them. There was a few in the last batch that looked like, you know, again, you don't have the detailed information right. of what they worked on, but they at least did seem to have some electrical and some utility. Right. I mean, we can have Linda answer them back and have them all send in their resumes. I mean, it's not like 87 or 187, you know, you're under 10, so it's not a lot to look at. Yeah. Well, why don't you take a closer look at them and see right. if there's any of them there that we could use. Yeah, so at least see if there's any you're just going to look at and say no. Nah. All right. And, and, then, then, I'll and then just ask Linda to get the rest of them. All right. Get the resumes. Yep. They did because it did look like there were a couple of them. Here. Uh, main office generator. I'm still waiting for them to schedule. They probably go to the parts, and I'm waiting for them to schedule in to come in and swap out the parts. And how's the Walnut Street tank coming? Well, we got to running on it, but because we lost the charger Manly Street, and we had to change the valve, so we've been flat out on that. So. We're back, Manly Street, we're bringing it back up to speed, and it looks like it's back running correctly. It's not uncommon to lose the charge, it happens from time to time. But we were air scouring, and if you're not paying attention, if you air scour and the system's back washing on its own, you're doing them almost back to back, so you strip the charge out of the green sand, and which is probably what occurred. So we doused it, but it took a while for it to build it back up, and we're down under point oh three now for our manganese coming out, so it's it's performing as it's supposed to. But I needed to get that back up because we really, we were down to station two yeah. and that wasn't a good thing. We're not going into this summer with anything good because I've only got station two and I've got Manly Street and that's about a million two a day if I have to push it. And if we stay in a drought, we're eventually going to draw down on them because I have nothing else to swap over to. So what is our plan for station one? <clears throat> it needs to be treated, it can't, there's nothing, it needs a treatment plant. The manganese But it's never had high manganese before, way back, right? I know, and that's why I said what the, what the well drill guy said was it was basically plugged with sand. So would it make sense to redevelop that, make it redevelop another well over there? Uh, well, you could drill right in. If you spend another six hundred thousand, you could drill right into the same thing. It's not not six hundred thousand to put another well in. Well, that's what's costing us to replace that one. Except for you wouldn't have to do the VFD, so you might get down for around five or maybe four fifty. 
Are we going to be hot that high in there? But, but you're going to be in the same water. Yeah, right, you're, you're still gonna, in the same, the same unless you move there. around somewhere. But you have to stay, in order to replace an existing well, you've got to stay within 50 feet of it. So you're just basically going to drill into the same thing. And it's still producing good, right? It produces fine, yeah. Like 400 gallons a minute out of it. Have you? 300 a minute? Yeah. Have you tried taking a sample directly out of the well before it goes out the pipe, the 12 inch pipe? Yeah, the, the, raw, what I sent away to the labs was raw samples. Raw samples. Okay. Made with that eye. Yeah, that's three times the health advisory limit for manganese. And what's, is it the color bad when you take the sample right after? No, you can't see it. That's why we couldn't see it when we were testing for it. You really... If you fill a white five gallon bucket, you still don't see it? You don't see it. But they were seeing it out in the system. They were seeing it out in the system. You had that complaint since you took that station. Uh, and that, yeah, it went away. That was it. Good. And I hate to talk about it, because usually you get about two weeks before something goes wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we've been on a good streak, so I hate talking about it. But yeah, since I pulled that off, there's not a complaint about yellow water. Oh, so that so was, basically, we have to stop the treatment plant. Right. That's 90% of the problem there, yeah, then, huh? Yes. And Norman Ave is extremely high in iron. It's the How? exact opposite. How much uh, C5 you put? You put enough C5 in it? So you... they won't give me a formula for the manganese because you're above the advisory. Um, Norman Ave, which is extremely high in iron, we're pumping a lot of C5 out of it with it. The problem is now we're going to go into summer, the water's going to warm up. It's eating up the chlorine because you've got organics in the water, it's eating up the chlorine residual. So I'm probably going to end up failing my bacteria test across the summer. As it is now, we're, we're running basically off of Station 2 in Manly. Manly still, we're still ramping it back up because I don't want, I want to make sure that we don't lose anything as we ramp it back up. So I can't smell the chlorine at my house anymore. And I don't think we're going to get a residual out of it, which means we'll probably fail bacteria. We can, we can sequester it, the amount of iron, but it's, it's taken a lot of C5 to do it, but it's, it's not good because I, yeah. I'm going to have to douse the place with chlorine in order to pass out in the system. Yeah, but is it worse to have some people call complaining about a chlorine smell or to have to put out notices about failing the bacteria? Right. It's, you know, that's... They don't... Well, they, they just get angry. It's... If you, it, you know, it's just because they never smelt it before. Right. It's something new. It, it's not that. It's not that heavy. Of a it's not, you can smell it because it off gases in your thing. But I, I live right near the tank. I drink the water. Yeah, I can smell. When I smell it, I make sure I taste it to see if I can taste it because I don't ever want to be tasting it. Yeah. And you can't taste it. You just smell it, and that's what's off putting to the people. The. the Fine bottled water. What they don't realize is the bottled water can sometimes be a lot worse than what you're pulling out of your tap. They they don't understand that. They think bottled water is yeah. pristine, and it's not. It's reverse osmosis in a lot of things, and then they refeed. You know, a lot of it. They just treat the towel water. Right. They just take towel water and treat it through a water softener. That and the bottled water has yeah. PFAS too. It's not. Yeah. Oh, the PFAS is in there, but that one. We're not, we're not getting, getting away from it. that. That's in the part of Biden's plan. That's why you're going to do anything. His plan is going to be to pump some stimulus money. There'll be water infrastructure in there, as well as the roadways and everything else. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of water money coming So up. if we can be ahead of that curve to jump that. I haven't heard anything about shovel ready projects, but. And you're not going to say that after what happened the last time. Right, but you should probably be ready to jump it. If well, that's, how we got, that's how we got the tank up there on Wallace Street. Right. Yeah, when we had the plans and we had gone through the Board of Appeals for the height. Yeah. We had a building permit. We just didn't have any money. We were ready to go. What's your plan for uh, Colton Street, Wayne? So this week we're going through, um, we're doing our monthly samples. 
Once we so into next week, then I can get at that. What are you gonna do? Uh, flush it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it right. I'm gonna take it right around the opposite side down towards Senate Street on North Elm, and then I'm gonna close the gate on that side and bring it the other way so that I totally scowl the pipe. And if that doesn't fix it, I'm not sure what would. It, that should pretty much clean the pipe. How many houses? Along you there? probably have about eight that are yeah. affected by it. But when I do that, that has the potential to affect hundreds. It's not because I'm okay. going to pour almost 900 gallons a minute out of the hydrants on either side. You're going to affect where you pull from. both sides. I'll leave the pumps running. We'll be pulling from the tank. We'll pull from the pumps. I'll try to to minimize our you know collateral damage. But I until we get up the next day and hear from people, we won't know what will have happen. You know, we'll go around and flush some of the things just to look to see what's occurred. But really, until you hear from the people the next day, you don't know. Be able to figure out any way to get a bleeder in out that way to try to keep some flow going. So I, I'd be hesitant to put in a bleeder because there was an issue with Copeland Street in uh, the town. Something to do with when North Elm Street got put in, a drain got put in somewhere that leaches into the field and. Supposedly keep an area wet. I'm not sure. You know, I don't try. But if we put in a bleeder and I can't get it into Brockton system, if it ends up in our storm drain system, then it's going to end up in that field, and I don't want to be part of that problem. I'm not sure if a bleeder would help. No matter how many times we went up there and low flowed, right, you know, there's a hydrant right there. Yeah. It didn't. If anything, it actually made it worse for them pulling stuff in. Yeah, and, and I don't know why it would. It shouldn't have, but it did. We even tried closing a gate right there so it, it dead ended right where they were, and that didn't help them either. And it's not like there's a lot of turbulent flow. There's nothing. Once you come past Grant Street, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. No complaints on Grant Street? No. Nothing. No. Everything's fine on Grant Street. Yep. Yeah. No North, North Elm. No, nothing on North Elm. Nothing on North Elm. The only place I have is a little small stretch. They always used to have problems up there. They always did. I don't know why. What kind of pipe is it? Cast iron. Cast iron. Well, cast iron is clean as can be inside. Right. Yeah, no, we don't have any like real work or anything. No. Does no. 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 it water. say how it's clean? Yeah, I mean, I, the inside of our pipes are nice and clean. There, is there any like that old two inch stuff that might be not not tied in that it could be pulling crap out of? Uh, not that I know of. I mean, the two inch exists around town because when we're digging, we find it. They're yeah. always worried if it's we're still alive. We're positive we're completely cut off from Brockton, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because that, that used to give us a shot of dirty water. There was a, a two inch line that used to, we used to get our water from Brockton, and there was a number of, of places around town where it tied in, and that was one of them. It was a meter pit there. I mean, as part of the test, we'll close gates on both sides and open up a hydrant yeah, and see that we don't... Get back fed? Right. Just to make sure. What size is that steel line? You I, say it's steel or cast iron? No, cast, cast iron. iron. Well, I think six it's inch up there. Yeah, I believe it's six inch. And we know that that's clean or we're not... We haven't cut well, I out. haven't cut anything out of it because we haven't had any breaks up there. Yeah, we're in 1946 inch on the Copeland Street side and 1910 6 inch on the North Elm Street. No, so it's 8 inch on the North Elm Street side. What's that? Uh, no. it, it's 8 inch on the North Elm Street. Oh, is it? And that's yeah. cast iron too? Yep. But 110 years old. Yeah. Yeah, most of our, yeah, our yeah. infrastructure is. Well, that's the first pipe that went in. Because we didn't have any wells. Yeah, where that brought the water in from Brock. Right. Yeah. And what it used to happen there, there was a, 
there was a pressure relief valve there, like, and it used to control, they had higher pressure than we did. Yeah. And so we wanted lower pressure, so the valve used to open and close, you know, and just, and then they shut the gates, but then the gates started leaking, and when our, when our pressure, when our tank would go down, the valve used to give us a little shot that people used to complain about dirty water. And we went up there because the gates were, were bad years ago, and we cut the we cut that section out and capped them off so that that wouldn't happen anymore. So we should be completely cut off from Brockton, but who knows if there was a bypass or yeah, like you said, check it when you're yeah, okay. I'll check it. But I know the last time we rotated gates near that vault, yep, it um poured up it. It literally poured, filled the vault, and came streaming up through the cap. Okay. Well, I, you know, there's very little in, in the records back then. You know, we had to dig it up, and we were just doing uh, exploratory surgery. <laughs> so in a couple of weeks, they'll yeah. be looking at that. Yeah. Okay. Wash it on. No, I will. That's the only complaints we're getting right now, really. Um, yeah. Have they been calling still, too? Or? Well, they don't, they haven't ever really, I mean, they're really nice people, and they really haven't called, and I've told them to come before you guys and complain, and they're... Thanks. I know, but... Well, they, they just, know you're going to do something at this point. Right. right. But I was hoping when we were doing all of the hydraulics for the flow test, I told them to come in because at that time we had the engineers and like, it's a good time for you to make a point and maybe we can get them to look at it harder. Were you uh, involved at all when they did the flow test up on uh, West Center Street yeah. by Honeydew? I was up, I got up there after the test. They, um, they had pretty good flow. Yeah, so the email I read told there was no issue with it. Right, but I don't know how it would affect our system if they've got to, if their things all go off, it's probably not going to be good for our system because you're only feeding through a six inch. But I think they had 50 pounds while they were running yeah, the flow. Well, well they're fed right off the 16. Yeah, how much so water they have, have, on either side of them, they have water. How much water were they getting though? Uh, I didn't, I don't remember, he didn't really say what his flow rate was. Out of the thing, I just know that the the static age went down to I think fifty during the test. Yeah, that makes a difference if he's flowing two thousand gallons a minute or he's flowing five hundred gallons a minute. You know, and we're still um we did a fire flow test up on Farm Road today, and when during that test there was a ton of air still coming out where. Still seeing air from that hydrant strike. I don't know where it's all bound up at because we have had a couple of complaints, and it's the same person, and they're nice people too, of air in the water. So we run it. Where is that? The strike on Manly Street? Yeah. Still, that's. Yep, they're still seeing air up there. Oh, like the snow plowing accident? Yeah. Really? And you flushed after it got fixed? We flushed it uh, numerous times. Maybe it's air was past we had washed or something. Yeah, but we take it all the way down to the end of Walnut and it's still, you know, we let it run for a whole day. There's a couple of days now. Keep track of all that water. Oh yeah, I, trust me, I have a spreadsheet going. I'm, this yeah. year I'm trying to stay on top of it and I try to keep it in the back of my mind. Anything going on on... Uh, The new prize, the 40B there on... Uh, for testing states? He's, Scotland so State. he pressure tested, he passed his pressure test. Um, he put in all his cap, I think there were 48 services. Um, oh, he, the curb stops on him? Yep. So he went out, he did his um, bacteria test too. So I haven't heard, we haven't heard nothing back from him. So how many services are in? I believe there's 48 right now. Did you get measurements from... Uh, to the curb box on all those so yes. your, your yeah. dimensions? Yeah, the only last one, his phase three is um, 
I don't know how to do that one. And I, I can't put it up on the screen, but... The bottoming ends in the cul-de-sac, but then you have this... A bunch of services coming off it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And out of those eleven, ten of them are duplexes. So you have like twenty-one services coming out of that. I that sounds like a bad time to me. Twenty-one <laughs> coming out of the cul-de-sac? Yeah. I don't know whether we should have him maybe you'd have run him a main across in front of those houses or something. You he, gotta do things. if you look at the picture, it's just not good. Right, right here, do this that. section right in here, because this water main ends up in here somewhere, not. Right? And those the septic systems in there for that. So all these have their own corporation. Yep. Yeah, they all have a corporation. So three, yep. four, six, eight, nine, ten. Everyone's got a separate tap. Yep. Where is the over here? He's going to have nothing to do. Right. Where's Unless it? we make them put a loop through. Right. Where's the design for the, uh, the which, water? Which, which one's it done now, Wayne? It's this section right in here. But these taps on it. These Those are, are right. Just this section, you know, from here down. Are, so where did he end the main tap? Did he finish the main? Yeah, but it's hard to tell where it is, you know, because you're standing out there and there's nothing. Right, 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 right. right. So he's tapped these, but not these. Right. Yep. Well, he's doing this part last anyway. Right. Right. He's supposedly doing this and the one and out here. Yeah, this is phase two. But they backfilled the main out here and didn't put these taps. Looks like the money shot. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You pay for. So the these they get the tap. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's all not. All I mean, right. the last yeah. house is here and here, so. Uh, where's, the, where's the water main drawing up of that section? Let's see what he's pointing on there. Probably won't be a detail on that section. No, not that one. No. That's why I, I'm looking at that and I, I don't want spaghetti in there. Septic oh. system, probably. Septic? Yeah, that's shared septic, yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah, because these other houses all have their own septic system. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 10 pounds and a 5 pounds. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live in that house. So. Mm -hmm. They're all... It's the state of Massachusetts, though, like, right there. But that's how they're building them now. They build on, you know, postage stamp size yeah. lots. And people buy them and they're like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, but is, we have requirements that are thousands of a lot, right? Yeah, it doesn't, yeah. It doesn't matter if they put those. That right there shows on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what they yeah. have beautiful. Yeah, so they don't, basically, they don't have a back, they have nothing. Their entire front yard is their septic system, and that's it. But the reason why they had to do that is because Thomas made it so yeah. difficult to build. That's why the right. state yeah. had to and do it. Yeah. Made it. Make all their own friends, then. Yeah, they're making it impossible for but somebody to build from. You, you can come in and throw all the bylaws out the window. That doesn't make any sense. No, no, no but you. But they shouldn't. Have, they shouldn't have made it so difficult. Yeah. Be a little more reasonable. Yeah, they wouldn't have got that. But then they go the other extremes. Okay, take your whole book exactly. Of and throw yeah. out the window. Yeah. Oh, makes I know. a lot of sense. And they don't make them put enough for. Affordable housing to really no twenty five percent you never get ahead of it no, no. I thought it was ten percent twenty five twenty five but still yeah they're adding it's seventy five percent they're adding yeah. aren't affordable yeah. so you're never gonna get you never get ahead you never, of it. you never catch up <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre 
Yep. That's Massachusetts for you. So what happened to Billy Lucini? Uh -huh. was, was somebody coming in today? Yeah, yeah, Billy was coming in. It's on our agenda. He was. She told him to be here. What you say? Five fifteen. Uh, did you talk Five fifteen. Today? Did he forget? I don't know. I, I don't call. Usually, I just put it on. I don't call both of them. Yeah. But you, at some point, you talked to him and said 5.15? It was, it was, yeah. It was, does he have a son? It was like a younger kid. Yeah. That was supposed Probably to be a son. It's a son of his son's house. And what's it he wants to do? All right. So he called in. He did the right thing. He called in for the specs. I wasn't in that day. And Terry went out and grabbed and sent it off. The problem was it was the old specs, so it said blue plastic. So Randy just happened to be pulling samples that day and drove by and saw the blue plastic and said, you can't use that. So that's when, at that point in time, the trench was wide open. You could easily pull it back up. And, you know, it's a wet area, but you could pull it back up and put it in. If they called me, I would have bought the plastic off of them because at that point, you just roll it up and, yeah, it's going to be dirty. We can wash it off. And it wasn't his fault. It's not my fault. And... Everybody makes mistakes at one time or another. It won't be the first and it won't be the last. But that's not how it went and I didn't get called and I haven't been involved. So I think he's going to want to use plastic. I would avoid plastic because we've had several blow-offs now. And I know you keep asking, Tom, but the inserts are there. The Wait, assembly I, I ask because I don't know all the towns I have a problem with. I want, I, to see, I want to see the next one that blows off. I want to be convinced. I'd like to see it. I've taken them apart before and that metal band bites in so hard I cannot yeah. imagine. If the sleeve's in there, I can't imagine right. it's falling off. And I, you know, I can't tell what, you know, that's why we avoid letting, when the contractors want it now, as they're building the house, we're like, all right, listen, you've got to anchor it because even with the copper, the, the plasterers come in and then they start jerking around on the angle stock. Well, they're not easily turned to begin with and then you're spinning it and you can easily raise it up without realizing what you've just done. Well, so so we had it in the trench was open. And he was told to use some something else, and he didn't. Right. And so if 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 he was all done and buried it, I'd say, or we'd have to eat it. But if he was told that the trench was open, you know, that who was doing the job? I went. To, I didn't get involved. But I, you know, it wasn't one of the normal contractors. I think it's somebody that they know. Well, he should have just gone and got a roll of copper and thrown it in the hole. How, how many feet was it? Well, he is, I mean, he's back there, but we've had longer runs from different houses and nobody complains. How, how long a run is it? <sighs> what is it, was it, what was it to? A house? Yes, yeah, back to a house. Because that's the one where, um, <clears throat> Maroney Brothers came in and asked about the Ames Drive because it's off the yeah. south gate. How did Billy get involved with that one? Is he only his son? It's his son. Oh. So if I do this, I'm going to come off of that. But I mean, were, were you going with if he hadn't buried it or if he had buried it before he was If he had buried it, it. But since not, that he should replace it? Yeah. It's about 400 feet. 400 feet? Yeah. Yeah, because he has to go back behind the other That's property. a long run. It is a long run. How many, what, what, what do you use, one inch or? Uh, yeah, everybody has to use one inch now. Yeah. That's the rings. So... You should have put the one inch copper in. I'll tell you, I've been in that situation. You get 400 feet done, then somebody comes and says you put the wrong stuff in. When you went by the regs you got, right. I wouldn't be happy. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be ripping it out. That's, uh, I think we got a lot of liability here. Like I said, if they called me, I would have told them something, and it would have been different. But And we did tell them he could use that on that. Yep. By, mis by mistake, but we did. Right. If we, uh, you know, I can't see making them rip it out at this point, but they can sign something saying if it blows off, it's on them. If it makes you feel better. But. 
or is there some way you have a special way you want them to anchor and if we allow it to stay that they do the you know some extra work as far as getting it anchored so it should you know to your anchor satisfaction what, the meter, uh, hmm? you're talking about the meter you're talking yeah we go in so that everything is should stay in place right i mean it would be to their benefit but i mean so you well you end up responding because you have to the other ones that have, right. that have blown off. So if there's a way, if we if we allowed it to stay, would there be a way you'd be comfortable with, like for them to anchor it and have the thing? I mean, they can put it anchors and you know F and F rings. What kind of plastic did he use? Did he use the right type of plastic that we used to use? Yes. The endo pure. Yep. With the clear in the middle. Yep. I think on a long run, they should almost have plastic because you can get a four hundred foot roll instead of what's the longest roll. Copper, I think, is 100 feet. 100 feet is the longest you can get, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't get anything longer than copper than 100, but you could get 500 and you could get 1,000 in plastic. Yeah. I think I've done 400 foot rolls of plastic before. Do you use mule fittings on it? Well, you haven't done anything because we made them. It's we made him pull it up. Well, Randy made him pull it up. So it's not tied into our main yet. Is there a curb stop there? Yeah, it's just not connected. It's up in the air. So it's right at the curb stop? Yep. That's run all the way in the house? I believe so, yeah. How did this come up? Are you looking for water now? Or? Um, yeah, because the house, I mean, my parents live right there so we can see it. He, and he's been going right through the winter. We haven't had a bad winter, so. He's probably almost done with the house. Although, I don't know why anybody would build now. The prices of all the materials have skyrocketed. I don't know. I'd say we at this point just have him sign up and throw away the old regs if we're not going to use them. Yeah, make sure you throw out the old regs so they don't have them around. Take a vote to allow yeah, that. We'll take a, to do stay I have a motion here. I, I'll make a motion to let them leave the plastic at this point. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sec I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have an aye? Yeah. Yeah. No. I'd be a yes if he if he had if he didn't know about it where he was told when the trench was open, but if the trench was closed, that's that's on us. But I'm just picturing a trench when it's wet, you get that line in there, you know what the trench does, it starts closing on itself. And to go back 400 feet in a trench full of water, that's a lot of work. But, I don't know. We've got plenty of other plastic services around. Yeah, my house is black plastic. I always keep looking at that. that now that's a problem. That can be a problem. The old stuff. Yeah, it goes back to, I think the house was built in 74, so I'm hoping oh, yeah. that's the thicker stuff. That's the stuff they have problems with. Thanks. <laughs> it's got the wire on it, right? Yeah, it has nothing on it. Huh? Oh, it's 74? Just, that wouldn't have No, it's just it's black just plastic coming up out of the... No, no, this, this stuff here has got a wire for tracing. I don't know if it has the tracer wire. We got a map of how it was run. Yeah, I'm not sure we have that either. Oh, girl. Well, we should try to map it as close as possible. It's bright. I mean, you can probably see the track. Because that's that was what the nice part of that pipe was. They had that signal wrapped around that pipe yeah. so that it wasn't it's above it. Because once it got hit and broke, I haven't it seen it, done. so I can't say it has or not. I could never get it with a wire. They're always out of it. And right. You got to the curb stop, and you had no wire to run up to the... I was like running the wire separate, wrap it right around the pipe, then you had plenty yeah. to run at each end. Yeah. So when you cut the pipe, you yeah, connect to the curb stop, you yeah. didn't have any wire to run up. Right. Yeah, but you cut it longer. If you cut it six feet longer, then, then you wow. take the wire off it, and you cut the plastic where you want it, now you got your six feet of wire. As long as you got wire with it. That's what we always used to do. You don't, you don't know if they ran wire, Wayne? No. I a long one like that, that 
house so long as you don't have water in it. Right. Someday, someday when it gets a leak or he's got a problem. Well, hopefully it never happens. It'll, huh? Hopefully it never happens. But oh, yeah. it will. It always does. It'll happen sooner or later. They'll be digging for something. Putting a pool in or putting another line in for something. Or they'll ask it for it to be marked out and then it'll be your fault because it because you didn't mark it right. See if you can get it on the maps as close as you can. Yep. Talk to somebody that, that put it in and done mark it for you. Oh, he said the trench is still there. We we'll probably can see, still see the trench. You, you still make drawings of every house that's built, the, the water services that go in? Yep. Try to get them to get there before the people get in because it's a lot easier. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you should do it the day that the, the contract is there with the trench open because okay. then you can get a measurement of how deep it is. Yep. And I used to take a picture too from the curb box looking at the house. That helps a lot if you can refer back to that picture and you can just eyeball it when you, there's ever a question. Because it'll change a lot when they start putting landscaping in and everything. All yeah. of a sudden you realize it went underneath the big maple tree they yeah. planted. Yep. Uh, The uh, hydrants on North Main Street. Yeah. We got green caps on them. Right by the town hall. All right. Yeah, there's one of them. That's the one where there's two mains, aren't there? No. There's only one main there. And it certainly not, shouldn't have green caps on it. And neither should have. Um, yeah, there's one on each side. Howard well, Street, so where his one. father has his shop there. Yeah, that's yeah. six inch. What's a green cap? Uh, 12 inch, 12 or 16 flows like over 2200 gallons a minute. And the, the reason why it's important to get the caps right, if another town comes in, you got a big fire and they vacuum the, they put a vacuum on there, they'll crush the main mm -hmm. for miles sometimes. So now there's green caps go on the Hydrant in front of Star Pizza. Yeah, but that's, that's where the fall is. Right. right. And I think there's only a six or an eight. There's a six on one side of the street and an eight where the, you got the green caps on Howard Street. Right. And that should be orange on that side of the street. And the ones that go into the Howard School, the, any, if any of those hydrants are still there, they should be red because that's all on a four inch. Do you still have the, when you put the lightning rod on a hydrant, or uh, put the eye, put the eye on there, does it come up with the data about that hydrant? Used to be linked to the, all the data, I had all the data in there to every single hydrant. Yeah, I got a picture, I don't have any data, but I've got the picture. Oh, uh, you should have data. See if she can find that data. Oh, the data's there, it's in the other files. You have to just dig, it doesn't come up as a thing, it's in the, um, it's in the table, it's, I gotta get rid of the damn picture. It's in the attributes table. Yeah, the data is here, it's just, you have to look for a different way to keep the hydro. Well, have it, have it attach it so that the guys could just tap on that hydrant and they, and because I had in there the collar of the caps, the uh, how many feet the uh, the gate was out from the hydrant, like three feet, six feet, eight feet. Um, table. What kind of hydrant it was? Last time it was uh, replaced. All that information was in there. It's still here. I'm looking at it now. It's in okay. the attribute table. Just, just didn't come up with a picture of the height. Right, it doesn't come up with a picture. I'll no, it never, it never did. It was, the picture was separate. It would come up with one or if you put the eye, if you put the lightning rod on it, come up with a picture. If you put the identification. Oh, then it pulls the data. It pulls the data. Oh, shit, that does that. And every hydrant had it. Yep, it did pull it up. Okay. So what does it say for the one by the town hall in that? Oh, let me 
And that God led in that one can. Oh, I'm looking at the gazebo. Yeah, the gazebo one. There's a hydra right in front of the gazebo. And it worked. Got installed in 1911. It's a, it says uh, cap color is orange. Closes to the right. Yep. The gate is 150 feet by town hall. Oh, that's that odd gate that's out in the middle. I think they paved that over. They paved over something when they did the parking lot. Randy kept, oh no, it's that curb stop. There's like a random curb stop. Okay, right so there. those caps on that are, are green. Look on the ones going down after his father's shop there. Yeah. That, the ch by the church, those are green. See, poke on that one, see what you get. Those should be orange. Shop. Well, the one directly opposite in front of the post office. That one doesn't have the cap color, but I know it's an old hydrant. The one across the street from his father's shop there, that always, by the post office, that always had orange caps. Yeah, it's not, well, it's on a six inch, so. I mean, further, further down the street, across from the entrance to the Howard School. Yeah. Um, Damn, I want that one would have orange caps. That's got green right now. Or they just get painted the wrong color? Yeah. They've been painting them, but somebody's picking the different colors. Color. That one, so that one, that hydrant across from where the school, the playground, it says it's supposed to be a green cap. It's on an eight inch main. Green? Yeah. It's listed in here as cap color green. Should be orange. Eight inches is orange. Four inches uh, red. Six and eights are orange. There was a there was a book years ago. Did that get thrown out? With the, before we put it on the computer, there was a book with all that. We used to carry it in the truck and um. all the colors. I, I've never seen the book with the cap colors anywhere. It's about that long. It's that one I've never seen. Three ring. Yeah, I've never seen that book. Every, hy every hydrant was in there before we had the computer. Yeah, I've never seen that book. But I can, um, well, if you see an eight inch main, it can't be green. The only place you're going to find green caps is where you have a 12 inch, which would be East Sun Street, yeah. East Street, Manly Street. Um, you're going to find green caps on the 16 going down Crescent Street. Right. But that's about it. You know, uh, West Street, you got a 12, you're going to yeah. find green caps. But most of the town, you're going to find orange. And then the four inches, you're going to find red. And that, that's telling the water department when you got a red cap, you haven't got much water. So if they see an orange cap across the street, there's an eight inch main on the other side, don't grab the red one, grab the orange one. And it just makes it simple for them because yeah. it's, it's, it's color coded, you know? Just like out here on Matfield Street, we've got green on one side, right. orange on the other, and there's some hydrants up here on the right hand side when we leave. There's an orange cap and a and a orange cap and a green cap. The hydrants are six feet apart, yeah. but they're tied in two different mains. Right. So it makes a big difference to the fireman when he grabs the the right one or the wrong one. There's, there's a fire. So he starts the truck and starts to pull. Yeah. So anybody got anything else? Nope. The holiday on the 19th. Patriots Day. Patriots Day. That's usually when the marathons run. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a Massachusetts holiday. They all come. All right. So uh, we're going to meet on the 20th. So we'll meet on the 20th, is that, Gary? Mm hmm. So 
Let me ask uh, this question here now. Um, are we going to be looking for another engineering firm? Or? I think we should at least talk to some if we haven't been getting, because it's been a while now since Patrick was not around. Right. And it does seem like communication's gone way down. We're going to have at least one treatment plant, maybe two. So I'm going to try to see, get over plant. and see, once Randy gets past the samples, if I can get there tomorrow. But over to see East Bridgewater's new iron removal plant, and then I'll get a contact name out of them and give them a call yeah. and see. So it's going to be enough money. It makes sense to have at least three companies to talk to. Right. If we want to let Taylor and Howard, maybe whoever did East Bridgewater, I know one or two that I know people at that. Yeah. I'd say, you know, let them give right. them an opportunity to and see yeah. they work in the other towns in the area. So. Yeah. But no, if we're going to, because, because we're talking. Especially we're going to have to push it, hopefully, to try something with a stimulus. But if we then all of a sudden get hit with Manly Street with PFAS. Right. We're going to have a lot of work, a, That's lot, what I was just a thinking. lot of money being right. spent. So we want to make sure we've got somebody that not just knows what they're doing, but right. they're going to pay attention yeah, to yeah, little us. I don't us. want another Manly Street, because the, the maintenance-wise, it's a disaster. What I've heard is the East Bridgewater one, it's one tank, but it's, you know, it's really tall. Plus, you know, we have 20... Well, Manly Street was done a while ago. They must have right. come up with some improvements on that basic design. Yeah, I mean, just looking at the way that valve works... 30 years was, ago. It was 30 years ago, I think. Yeah. Um, so I've been here 16 years. I think the plant's been in operation like 17 or 18. I don't know. It started running before I got here. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, I think it had to be because we paid for it over 30 years. Yeah, and it's just about paid for us. So, yeah. how did you hear about Patrick? Uh, I, I got an email today. No, oh. well, that's too bad. Yeah, well, that's a shame. I was afraid of that. he was just great to deal with. I thought, oh, yeah. He, oh, he knew a lot. He, he had shot, a lot of. You asked him a question. He knew. He he had built a lot of stuff around for yeah, a long he had time. Yeah, a lot of experience around. Yeah, him too. It he had been doing it for a long time. I just enjoyed dealing with him. He was just yeah. Good to deal with. And they never really gave you any. They didn't say a word. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they never said a word, did they? Huh? No, and they like they it was like dead silent when I kept asking. You know, one of the things I don't understand, it seems like he was the mainstay of the company because we didn't we didn't get good service afterwards. But it says here he's sixty two years old. I didn't know how old he was. So most people retire at sixty five or not, not, so not in that industry, they don't. They're retiring because usually there's some kind of either profit share or, or employee owned, yeah. and they usually stay on quite a bit later. But he was it said he was a senior vice, vice president. Yeah, yeah. I was reading about Fontana and Howard today, and it's 100 percent employee owned. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so when I used to work at CDM, it was the same thing. Most people didn't leave. You had so much money vested in staying. Right. That. It, made, it, it was tough to walk away from all the, that benefit from the company, basically getting paid yeah. extra by how the company does. Yeah. So that's... But I mean, they weren't... They don't, they don't leave early. Right. Early. No, not But I mean, there wasn't, any, there wasn't any plans like this. Nobody coming up. But there's, it, there's probably other people there, but maybe not... In, in, we're, we're, we're saying, small right. as part of the problem. They've got the client, you know, we, sometimes you need somebody who's thinking in terms of paying attention to small clients as opposed to, you know, maybe the people under him already have other people they're dealing with. It's tougher to you know, pay attention a little West Bridgewater when they're dealing with a lot of other work. He gave us great attention, though. Yeah. No, he, but he, that's the thing. He had been in this area for a long time. He did a little... Yeah, he was part of, I think, Palmas. Um, they have a big plant down there. Yeah. It's, it's he went to school in Metapoisin. Remember I told you I thought he had connections to Metapoisin for yeah. some reason? He lived in Bay Haven. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's where... I knew it was somewhere, but it wasn't close to here. But. No, but it, that makes a difference sometimes in how much attention they pay to you. Right. Yeah, Bay Haven. Huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so... Were you already going on a journey? No, because yeah. Kerry did the oh, okay. meeting. So, so the motion to adjourn? 
A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.